What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Blu ray Tay back with another video. And uh, real quick, I just wanted to take a look at the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. Um, it's recently updated with uh, Android Marshmallow 6.0. And uh, we can go ahead and hop into the settings. Let's see that it is on Android 6.0. There we go. Android 6.0. Okay. This is my first time going to this, so. Alright, so um just a quick recap. Uh this phone did come out last year in 2014. Um, this is the last Google Play Edition uh, phone from HTC. They didn't do one for the M9, so it's the M8 with uh, two gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 801 processor, and it does have expandable storage. And um, it's running pretty smooth on 6.0. The battery life is pretty good. Right now, I'm getting close to four hours. Say about. 3 hours and 45 minutes or so, but just to show you how everything looks. Um, and a new drop down menu. Uh, you have the option for your Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, uh, your network, airplane mode, rotation, flashlight location, and you can go ahead and cast. And uh, you also can adjust your brightness. And uh, what's the clear all toggle for your notifications? If you go ahead and swipe left, you will see uh, Google Now. This is the uh, Google Now launcher. I usually run uh, Nova Launcher, but I wanted to show you guys what it will look like once you do a fresh install. And you go into the app drawer, it is a vertical scroll. Similar to HTC Sense, so that, that that's on the regular uh, HTC smartphones, and you can go ahead and also search for any app up here. And I'm using Swift Key, not the stock uh, Android keyboard right now. Um, let me see what else may be new or interesting. Um, so it does have Google Now on tap. So, for example, my Google, and I'll have uh, Walking Dead. If I hold the home button, see this animation, and it'll give you some information about what's on the screen. So, I can go ahead and go to do a Google search, look up news, images, cast, or the website, and let's just go to images. Let's see what we get. Let's see. Just different images regarding the walking dead so that's pretty cool um, don't really use it too much but it'll be good for text where people refer to places or movies and you can look up movie times and locations for full places um, uh, the camera I know there is an update that should be coming out soon but um, it hasn't reached my phone yet so the camera is still the uh, you pull it to the left and you get to the video, uh, panorama, lens blur, and the photo sphere. And uh, swipe to the right, you'll get to your photos. Um, so, fortunately, the camera still isn't too great. But um, let's get up out of here. Um, the phone is pretty fast, to be honest with you. Um, if you have this, I really see no point in updating to many of the smartphones this year. Performance is kind of similar. Um, I don't really game on my phone, so maybe if you're a hardcore gamer, you may notice a difference, but other than that, it's pretty similar, And um, except for the camera, of course. The camera on here is just acceptable, just okay, but... Um, other than that, this is a great smartphone if you're gonna have in 2015. And the sound is 
still great. Um, the only thing I think may be beating this is the Moto X Pure. Um, so, definitely one of the better phones built by HTC. With a nice metal you know, body styling and everything. And uh, I can't really think of any other software uh, differences on the 6.0. Of course, you know, it does have duals. And that's basically um, when your phone is just lying around for a little bit, it will go into a deep sleep. And uh, so it really works when, well, it only works when you're not using the phone. So the standby time on this phone is really great. Um, it doesn't really drop too much of a percentage overnight. I would say maybe like at, at most maybe 5%, um, which is great for Android. So yeah, definitely check out the HTC One M8. If you have a Nexus device, go ahead and update the 6.0. It runs really nice and smooth. And I think you'll definitely like the experience. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm pretty sure I may have forgotten some things about 6.0, so just let me know. I'll try to address it below and make another video. Peace.